coming up. Oh, oh, you know. Wow. You know who this is. Gonna make a good point. Always happen. This guy. You know what? I don't even know if I need to describe him. I mean, if, if I think, if, if what I think is about to happen, if he comes out here and has a few words to say, I don't even need, you know if I need to describe him. The IGW champion, he's always got plenty to say, plenty of compliments to give himself. The man never had a loss for words, that's for sure. Yeah, I, I don't, I didn't like that, that last kick I saw a second ago about that one guy. I don't like that drop kick, I don't that leg drop either. Man, and he's always doing it. He's always takes about nine hours. He definitely plays out. by his own rules and on his own time schedule. Never in a rush to come out here to address the fans. But like we just said, he's never at a loss for words. Ah, never at a loss for words. Because he is what he calls himself, the natural born leader. The Mark Wilson's guy did not start off with a bang. <laughs> here we go. Your IPW champion. He's got a lot on his plate at Chaotic Christmas. He's got to defend his, champ his IPW championship against two of the absolute best competitors in the history of IPW. Jermaine Johnson, leader of the hype section, and Double D. And Double D, we've only seen him in a few matches since he's returned with his brand new attitude. So who knows what's going to happen. I've seen him leap off the top of a steel cage. So what's going to happen to Chaotic Christmas when it's all on the line? The last time that these guys were all in a cage at the exact same time, well, I'm not even sure about the, the last time they were in a cage all at the same time, but Double D and Johnny D at Coronation, they started the Impact Chamber and were the last two in the Impact Chamber. A true testament to both guys. It truly is. The Impact Chamber, which I've been in a handful of times since my start in IGW. Now, the last time Johnny Z and Jermaine Johnson were in a cage together, that was that was the chair shot heard around the world with Johnny Z on Jermaine Johnson. Before the IGW Champion even has a chance to speak. Interesting. Looks like Double D is playing a few mind games of his own against the IGW Champion. Johnny Z not able to get out what he was about to say before being interrupted by Double D. So this man, left out of the main event this evening, doesn't seem too pleased. I'm sure he'd like to get his hands on not only that I've been championship, but Johnny Z as a whole. Two weeks away before with the addition of Jermaine Johnson, all three of them will be standing face to face inside 15 foot of four walls of steel mesh. Speaking of that third man, the crowd will be on their feet for this guy. Here he comes, Bob Man, the leader of the hot second. It remains after my boy. Just like Double D, didn't let Johnny D get off the work. Jermaine Johnson does the same to Double D. These two men were the most unlikely of tag team champions as they had to compete against the old school studs. We were able to beat them a few weeks ago to win the IGW Tag Team Championship. But last week, wow. <laughs> But I'm now they really were anxious to see what Johnny Z had to say to begin with before being interrupted by both the two contenders at Chaotic Christmas. Oh, here we go. Here's it. Here it is. Oh, 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 oh. That's why they call him the hype set. These fans here at the Impact Arena love Jermaine Johnson. Crowd tonight here at IGW Adrenaline. Mark Wilson gets so heated, he looks like he's gonna have a heart attack in the ring. All right, all right. 
So you were about to come out here and spit some hot garbage, right? That's what you was about to do? <laughs> and then you, you were gonna come out here and actually talk to the ICW champion? Well, that's crazy. That would, that's like you think you're the number one contender, but you're not the number one contender. The dude who's been challenging for that championship since August 9th in the Impact Chamber, since Redemption, since Halloween Hangover, that guy's the number one contender, and he's the leader of the hype section. Jermaine Johnson, so maybe I. We got this. We got this. Yeah, we do. We got this. Damn right. We got this. Yeah. So maybe I should be talking to the champion. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Well, you know what I got? I got a damn headache from listening to all that hot garbage that you're coming out here and spewing. Number one contender, you say, right? Hey, that's real cute. That's real cute. I was the number one contender one time. March 15th, Coronation, the biggest show in this building. 10-man impact chamber. And what did I do? I won the IGW championship, and I never lost the ICW Championship. So as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, you need to be standing right back here in the back of the line. I, you want me to get in the back of the line? Well, what's this line to, huh? In the back of this, when we're gonna be in this line, is this the line where you start crying about being so fragile and weak you couldn't withstand the beat down from impacting, so you ran and hired for five months, and then you needed some protection. Do I need to go and push Jesse out of her chair there? Ain't that what you need in your hand right now? That's when you look comfortable, Double D. You don't want to spar with me, Double D. You are not the rightful champion. He's not the rightful champion. Ask the hype section. Ask the hype section who should be ICW champion right now. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I love what you said right there. I love what you said. You have got one hell of an act since you decided to show back up here. You have one hell of an act. See, you want to talk about whining and crying and leaving. See, I remember you were in a pretty high profile match yourself there at Coronation, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you were in a TLC match, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. You got your ass kicked in that match, didn't you? You lost the IZW Tag Team Championships in that match, didn't you? And see, that's not the worst part. While I was basking in my glory of my second IZW Championship title reign, you were too busy tucking your tail between your legs and walking your punk ass to that court and, and never coming back for the what, the next three months? You want to say I was gone for five months? You know damn well that's not true. You are the one who quit simply because you could not cut it. Then, whoa, whoa, wait, now hi. Fast forward, fast forward three months. And yeah, I'm getting my ass kicked in this ring. By Impact Inc., the little pricks in Impact Inc., I got beaten bloody. I got carted out on an ambulance, big damn deal. I wasn't able to come back for three months. You act like, you act like you're pissed off because I came out each and every week and laid your punk ass out with a steel chair right there on that spot. You act like that's what you're pissed off about. But I know, and you know, and everybody knows, the only reason you're pissed off is because I came back 
and you know damn well that as long as Double D is in the Impact Arena, you will always be number two. Wow, wow, those are strong words by Double D. Okay. Oh, we got a ranking system here, huh, huh? I think this dude needs a history lesson, and I'm about to give it to you, all right? You Don't say I'm always number this. two. Look, look here, Double D. Double D, I was headlining major events in this company while you were in training sessions learning how to do this. I was beating this man in TLC matches for his title, punking him out while you were in the back wondering how you were gonna beat Seven. I have always been in this building. As a matter of fact, I built this building. That's fine. So if you ever try to call me second place, you better look at the stats because I'm the only two-time triple crown holder this place has ever seen. And at Chaotic Christmas, when that cage gets raised up, that cage is going to represent that you will always be the one in second place. That's hey, funny you mentioned yeah. that. Sorry. That's funny you mentioned that because, yeah, we all got to break in sometime. We all got to go through training. The only difference between you and I is whenever I got to the top, I stayed at the top. I didn't fall off and become some little tag team wrestler guy. While I was main eventing in the Coronation Impact Chamber in the biggest show in this building that you built, you were in the tag team match. You were getting your ass kicked. You have been surpassed. At Chaotic Christmas, in that cake, you're going to get a lesson. The lesson you missed out on, tag team guy, at Coronation. You're starting to piss me off, so. You're going to get the lesson why I, I, I'm going to be, and I am the rightful ICW champion. Now, Johnny Z, it's his turn to talk. Uh, hey, hey, this just happens to be my promo time on the run sheet. I checked it out before I came out, and I hear you talking about people getting in line. Oh no, Johnny doesn't suck. I've been standing around listening to Suck for the past five minutes. I'm taking their eyes off each other. Very attentive. They get to talk and I don't. He gets to talk about teaching lessons and you get to talk about people standing in line. Well, let me give you a lesson. Lesson number one, Double D, I'm the IZW champion. And if there's a line to be stood in, it starts behind me. Now see, I see both of you out here talking about who's going to be the next IZW champion. Hell, coming out here tonight, I was coming out here to talk about the fact that I'm in maybe the biggest predicament of my career. Maybe the biggest predicament I've ever faced as the IZW champion. The greatest IZW champion ever, that is. Let's hear it for John EZ. John EZ. John EZ. John EZ. John EZ. You suck. Now, you know, we had to get that in. I was coming out here to talk about the fact that I was probably in the biggest predicament of my career as IZW champion. That this is gonna be the trickiest defense of my championship ever. And then you two come out here and put me at ease. I mean, you make it very clear that this is gonna be the easiest title defense ever. I stood here for five minutes and it was like I didn't even exist. You two get in a ring together, and everyone else, it's like they're not even there. Come chaotic Christmas, the only one that's got to worry about anything, it seems like, is you two. 
I'm going to have a cakewalk staying the IZW champion. I'm going to have a cakewalk proving that I am the natural born leader and the greatest IZW champion ever. So you two, you have fun working out these issues. I'll see you at Chaotic Christmas. There is a lot of truth to be had in that statement. That last few minutes, people, is what IZW is all about. There is a lot of aggression, a lot of tension right here because everybody in IZW, these three men are a big picture of it. Everybody wants to be number one. Everybody wants to be the IZW champion. You're absolutely right. It took Johnny Z two and a half minutes to make this point, and it took almost six minutes of the bickering back and forth between Jermaine Johnson and Double D. I have, I'm starting to believe Johnny Z. I'm really starting to believe him. He says that the real problem is coming between these two men. Johnny Z thinks that it's a house divided here in IZW. He thinks that Jermaine Johnson and Double D just might tear each other apart. That he's just gonna have to pick the bones and just grab a pinfall over someone to keep that IZW championship. He may be getting, he may be getting a little ahead of himself here. It's not chaotic Christmas yet. The cage is not up quite yet. We don't know what's gonna happen in that main event, that chaotic Christmas.